Good morning, saints of God. I pray you're well. Pray you're growing in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you in this beautiful name. Remember, you are a blessing and you are a child of God and you have been born for such a time as this. Remember, the Lord loves you. I bring you the word of the Lord according to Psalm 37 and verse 4. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Today, God is requiring you as child of God to be committed in all your ways. Commit yourself to the Lord. Commit in everything you do. Your commitment to the Lord will bring you to a place of destiny, purpose in Christ. I say and I encourage you, commit your ways to the Lord. The word of the Lord is upon you today and the word of God is drawing you nigher to his ways. And God is declaring his word in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Now Israel, was as, what does the Lord your God require of you? To fear the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and to keep the Lord's commandments and his statutes which are commanding you today for your good. And the Lord is saying to you, keep his commandments, abide in his love. Just as he has, command, has obeyed the Lord, the Father, and abided in the love. God is commanding you to obey. God is com commanding you to be committed. It is the, It has the most powerful results when you're truly committed to the Lord your God. Moreover, the Lord your God is requiring you to circumcise your heart, the heart to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul that you may live. There is a blessing when you are committed to the Lord. You rob yourself of many blessings. When you serve God half-heartedly in a lack of commitment, today come before the Lord, serve him with all your heart. Jesus loves you. He has a great plan. According to Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, surrender, give your life to him. He has a beautiful plan. From me, Dr. Grace, amen.